All right, here we go. I'm taking a video of my Voxel engine and just want to show a little bit of the progress since I haven't uploaded a video quite yet. So we've got a 10 by 10 region of Voxel chunks and each Voxel chunk consists of a 32 by 32 by 32 data structure. So there's 32 by 32 voxels in the X and Z and then up to 32 high and then depending on the actual height of the terrain that can get sort of culled down to change the bounding box size and everything. So we're just using some simple Perlin noise here to generate the terrain. There's no different sorts of terrain, it's just all grass at the moment with a really, really basic shader that I'm hoping to change pretty quick. But I wanted to show you what I've been working on, which is picking. So what I do is I cast a ray from the camera's position through the mouse pointer, and then I subdivide the quad, or not quad tree, sorry, the axis line bounding boxes down until I get a list of uh, voxels that the mouse could be intersecting. And then I go and sort those based on distance and find the voxel that the mouse is selecting. Finally, I do a face check. So I check to see which face the mouse is actually selecting of the voxel. And that's the last step. I've just rendered it here as a red quad. And so now I'm able to select any face of any voxel. And I can also add voxels. So this is going and manipulating that voxel chunk data structure and regenerating the vertex array objects on the fly. So we can see how that looks here by going into wireframe mode. And in wireframe mode, you can see that this greedy algorithm is going combining voxel faces together into a single face. So as I go and add to this, you can see that it's gone and recalculated that greedy algorithm. So that's the big thing I've been working on now. I'm hoping to have some sort of voxel editor done in the near future here so I can go and create things like characters and so on. And that's about it. So that's about a week's worth of work. And I'm really hoping to jump back into it, start getting things like Skybox, better shading, um, more full featured editor all running. So for now, that's what I've been working on. I hope you guys take care and happy coding.